Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. USAF is back again with the breaking news that the F-22 Raptor just got an upgrade that's making top pilots in Moscow sweat through their vodka shots. This is a sleek, aerodynamic beast dripping with cutting-edge tech that'll have you rethinking everything you thought you knew about air combat. Its razor-sharp wings can cut through a cloud like butter. Its radar can spot a rogue eyebrow hair from miles away. And it has enough firepower to burn all who dare to come in its way. Join us to get your mind blown by the insane new upgraded US F-22 Raptor. Let's get back to the F-22 Raptor's creation that wasn't a singular moment of inspiration, but rather a thrilling aerial drama played out over a decade in the crucible of the Cold War. The seeds were sown in the early 1980s, when whispers of a new generation of Soviet fighters, codenamed Flanker, began to echo across intelligence reports. The existing American air superiority reigned with the F-15 Eagle, but the specter of a stealthy, agile flanker loomed large, threatening to upset the delicate balance of air power. Thus, the United States Air Force embarked on a daring quest, the Advanced Tactical Fighter Program. It was a call to arms for American aerospace giants, a gauntlet thrown down to design a fighter that would not only match but surpass the flanker, a machine that would redefine air combat itself. The story of the F-22 Raptor's birth can't be told without first acknowledging the YF-22 and YF-23, two dazzling competitors in the advanced tactical fighter contest of the 80s. Both emerged from a crucible of Cold War tension, tasked with surpassing existing fighters and ensuring American air dominance for decades to come. Lockheed Martin and its partners took on the challenge with the YF-22, a muscular beast with thrust vectoring nozzles and a diamond-shaped wing, promising unmatched agility and combat prowess. Northrop Grumman countered with the YF-23, a sleek machine draped in stealthy angles and boasting raw speed, a potential supercruise king amongst fighters. The competition was fierce, a high-stakes dance of prototypes zipping through test skies. The YF-22 wowed judges with its dogfighting ballet, demonstrating incredible maneuverability thanks to its thrust vectoring and close-coupled canard layout. The YF-23 countered with its silent supersonic dashes, disappearing from radar screens almost effortlessly. But the F-22 wasn't just about dazzling maneuvers. It offered a more balanced package, excelling not just in dogfights, but also in long-range interception and ground attack. Its larger internal weapons bay promised greater versatility, while its thrust vectoring, while not as extreme as the YF-23s, still provided a significant edge in agility. Ultimately, the choice came down to a balancing act. While the YF-23's pure speed and cutting-edge stealth were tempting, the YF-22's well-rounded capabilities ease of production, and potential for future upgrades sealed its fate. In 1991, the YF-22 emerged victorious, paving the way for the F-22 Raptor, a fighter that continues to reign supreme in the skies and leading to the start of the engineering and manufacturing development phase in 1991. Contracts were awarded to Lockheed Martin, Boeing for the airframe and Pratt & Whitney got the job for the engines. Testing became an unrelenting symphony of data and feedback. From the harsh Mojave Desert to the frigid Alaskan skies, the F-22 prototypes were pushed to their limits. Engine thrust was maximized, avionics were integrated into a seamless web of battlefield awareness, and the revolutionary thrust vectoring nozzles were fine-tuned to grant the Raptor unmatched agility. One of the most significant hurdles was perfecting the F-22's stealth capabilities. Its radar-absorbent coating, a closely guarded secret, had to be applied with meticulous precision ensuring the Raptor could vanish from enemy screens like a ghost. Every rivet, every seam, every antenna had to be carefully treated to deflect radar waves, transforming the F-22 into a phantom of the skies. As the years rolled by, the F-22 slowly evolved from a promising prototype to a weapon of breathtaking potential. The next six years were a whirlwind of refinement. The engineers at Lockheed Martin meticulously analyzed every inch of the YF-22, shaving off weight, tweaking engine performance, and honing its radar-evading abilities. The iconic Pratt & Whitney F-119 turbofan engines, with their revolutionary thrust vectoring nozzles, were integrated, granting the Raptor the unparalleled agility that would become its signature. The first operational Raptors rolled off the production line in 1997, each aircraft a testament to the dedication and ingenuity of thousands of engineers, technicians, and pilots. Their arrival marked a new era in aerial warfare, an era where stealth, agility, and raw power reigned supreme. In 2001, the program received approval to enter low-rate initial production. This was followed by a successful initial operational and test evaluation by the Air Force Operational Test and Evaluation Center in 2004. 
based on the maturity of the design and other factors, the program received approval for full-rate production in 2005. The primary Air Force organizations operating the F-22 are the Air Education and Training Command, Air Combat Command, and Pacific Air Forces. Notably, the aircraft was briefly designated as the F-A-22 before being renamed the F-22A in December 2005. The initial F-22 wasn't the all-singing, all-dancing fighter we know today. Its radar and avionics were cutting edge for the time, but not yet the sophisticated beasts they are now. Weaponry was limited to internal bomb bays and sidewinder missiles, lacking the long-range punch of the later AMRAMs. But even in its nascent form, the Raptor's capabilities were staggering. Its supercruising ability, allowing it to fly supersonic without using afterburners, was unheard of. Its thrust vectoring technology granted it dogfighting prowess unmatched by any contemporary aircraft. And of course, there was the stealth, a cloak of invisibility that made it a phantom in the eyes of enemy radars. The F-22 Raptor has undergone several upgrade programs over its service life, with the latest significant upgrade being the Increment 3.2B completed between 2020 and 2021. This upgrade notably enhanced the Raptor's capabilities across various key areas. In terms of weaponry, the AM-9X Sidewinder Block II received upgrades to its Seeker and Warhead, enhancing its tracking and lethality against maneuvering targets. Additionally, it gained a lock-on after launch capability, allowing pilots to designate targets after missile launch. The AM-120D AMRAM also saw improvements to its guidance system and data link, making it more effective against both short and long-range targets. Regarding sensors, the APG-77 radar underwent updates to its software and processing power, resulting in improved detection and tracking range, resolution, and discrimination capabilities. The electronic warfare system was also upgraded with new antennas and signal processing hardware, providing better situational awareness and jamming capabilities against enemy radars and sensors. In terms of communications, the F-22 was integrated with the Link-16 data link system, enabling real-time tactical information sharing with other aircraft and ground forces. Other upgrades included minor improvements to the F-119 turbofan engines for enhanced performance and reliability, as well as updates to the cockpit displays and controls with new software and hardware to improve pilot situational awareness and weapon employment. In addition to the Increment 3.2B upgrade, the F-22 is undergoing the Raptor Agile Capability Release Program, which follows an iterative approach to upgrades. The first phase of RACR, completed in 2022, focused on an open systems architecture update, enabling easier integration of new technologies in the future. The Increment 3.2B upgrade cost approximately $11 billion, and the F-22 is expected to remain in service until at least 2060. Looking ahead, the next major upgrade for the F-22 is anticipated to be the sixth-generation fighter upgrade that is currently in development. It will feature a next-generation active electronically scanned array radar with even greater range resolution and discrimination capabilities. This radar could potentially employ AI-assisted target recognition and tracking, as well as incorporate multi-spectral technologies for improved all-weather and multi-domain awareness. The new upgraded F-22 under NGAD program will have increased integration with next-generation data links and secure communication networks, facilitating seamless information sharing with other assets and improved battle management. The cockpit will have an advanced glass cockpit with virtual and augmented reality displays, providing the pilot with immersive 360-degree situational awareness and intuitive control interfaces. AI-powered decision support systems might also be employed to assist in tactical decision-making. The program also aims to integrate long-range hypersonic missiles capable of hitting targets at extreme distances with unparalleled speed. It will also include the addition of laser or microwave weapons for non-kinetic silent engagements against drones, missiles, and other aircraft. To make it a combat hero, F-22 will also get an enhanced electronic warfare suite with more sophisticated jamming and spoofing capabilities to counter enemy radars and sensors. It will be integrated with unmanned aerial vehicles that can fly alongside the F-22, acting as scouts, sensor platforms, or even carrying additional weapons. Increased use of AI for autonomous flight control, target selection, and weapon deployment is also anticipated, allowing the F-22 to operate more effectively with fewer pilots. Additionally, it will have seamless integration with broader military networks, allowing the F-22 to share information and receive targeting data from other assets on the battlefield, including ground forces and satellites. Adoption of next-generation variable cycle engines capable of adjusting their thrust and bypass ratios for optimal performance across different flight regimes will enhance fuel efficiency and super-cruise capabilities. 
Furthermore, the NGAD will incorporate lighter, stronger materials and innovative manufacturing techniques to reduce the F-22's weight and improve its maneuverability and aerodynamic efficiency. This will indeed make the F-22 Raptor a more formidable asset for the U.S. and will provide an edge over the Soviets. What is your take on it? Let us know in the comments section below. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video and watch the next video as well. See you again.